Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and we are going to do a rolling pin paintbrush tutorial using the uh, handle from the Dollar Tree paintbrush. So these just pop off just like that and first you'll need the paintbrush <laughs> and then you'll need some Mod Podge and some of the beads from Dollar Tree, um, some paint, a skewer um, to paint so you don't get it all your fingers, and then you will need your glue gun and some scrapbook paper and some twine of your choice. Um, right now I have this out, but I need black and white. So let me get out the black one going to need some of that and then or you can use some ribbon some gingham ribbon of your choice which like this you could use that to be real pretty so first off um, I already painted one of my sticks and I already pre-cut some scrap of paper so is what you're going to want to do is after that is painted, you're going to need some of your Mod Podge and get that open. So once we get that open, let me show you what we're going to do. All right, so I'm just going to take this makeup. Um, applicator put it in my Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge the paper and just get it all over nice and thick and then I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to line it up and I'm going to roll. Let's see if I can't turn that away just a little bit so you can see. I'm going to just roll this like so along and push it down so it sticks on that paper. And get this edge glued down to the other side of the paper. Get a little more on there. wet that down and just get that all smoothed out and yeah so you have your nice little love rolling pin and a little sticky so I'm just gonna put that alongside there and while that is drying or setting up you can paint your little pieces that are gonna be your handles now I just took the darker color and you just put it on there Grab some paint and grab some of your paint here and just go along the little bead and let that dry. Don't forget the end. <laughs> you don't want a green end. 
Now, while I'm here in the basement, I usually use my heater to dry it a little faster because it's kind of cold down here. So I'm just going to let that one set. And then I am going to take this. I didn't quite make it as good as I'd hoped. You do have this little piece. I cut it as close as I possibly could get it, but I'm sure it's not going to be that great for this one. But um, I take one of the beads, take your glue gun, I'm going to do the other end instead. And I forgot to cut some of that off. I wonder if I can just cut it with some scissors. See if I can't get that even here. The other ones I did, I didn't uh, make it <laughs> as far over the edge. But I just take a little bit of glue on the end I did not color. And of course, you run out of glue when you want to do your project. So we'll just grab another one and get that glue going. And oh, it's a little bit. All right. And then you're going to take your end and you're going to just try and find the middle. Get it on there and hold it. <laughs> so the glue sets up. And I just want to thank everybody um, for joining me today on this second tutorial. <laughs> um, hopefully I can figure out how to get these going for you. These tutorials, they're pretty tricky. <laughs> I'm glad I don't do them all the time. Um, to get all set up. So now... I'm going to try and grab that other one. Should be fairly dry by now. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Sometime soon, this glue will get there. There. All right. And does kind of go down in the hole a little bit, so you might need to apply a little bit more. And then if it was flatter, it would probably be great. But I noticed on this end of the rolling pin, it's really hard to get it straight. But I'm going to try. <laughs> Hope you all have a nice weekend. I get to work tomorrow, 8 to 1, maybe a little longer. I work in a local deli. Uh, we do shaved turkey sandwiches every day and a bunch of wraps and dogs and burgers. Um, Wisconsin's getting pretty nice. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees tomorrow. Can't wait for spring. Ready to get out and enjoy the outdoors. How about you? All right. So that is what I've got so far. Let's see? Nice and cute. The love all over it. So now I am going to try and do a bow. And I just place this right in my little holder. Nice. It works great. What can I say? Um, so I'm going to take some of my twine and make a little bow. And then best part is you don't have to hold it. <laughs> you can just take some of this twine Wrap it around a couple times. 
Uh, let's try that again. All right, you do have to hold it a little bit. Wrap it around, and then tie it in a little knot. You can put it on the handle, or you could put it on the actual rolling pin itself, whichever you prefer. Make a tiny little bow. If I can get my fingers to work for me, it'd be great. I don't know about all this tutorial stuff. It's not the easiest in the world. <laughs> I should have made it just a little longer, I guess. Let's see here. Uh, come on. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I have to take it down here. It's just not working. Oh my goodness. The struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. Um, I need to make it a little longer because it's not working for me. See, this is what you don't really get to see is the struggle. I don't see this on other people's videos. Um, they make everything look so perfect. I guess that's where editing comes in. <laughs> you know, but hey, I'm a realist. And stuff just doesn't go that way, you know. It doesn't always work out the way you planned. So I would rather just have real life and let it be. It's so tiny is the problem and it's moving on me so I'm having difficulties. <laughs> Um, do any of you have any hobbies? Uh, if so, what are they? I have quite a few. I have quilting, crafting, genealogy, um, a little bit of everything going on. Anyhow, there. <laughs> it's, it's done. So I'll just trim those off, take that off, and voila, you have a cute little rolling pin. There you go. Isn't that cute? I've done a few others. Um, I did this one. Um, I used the stickers oh, that come in this rub-on transfer pack. I used this for the Love Us. And I used the gingham bow that I showed you earlier. Um, the ging uh, Not all those letters are going to fit, but I did try that. Um, I started this one. I haven't finished it yet um, for Thanksgiving or, yeah, Thanksgiving. It's made out of scrapbook paper. I got to add the other two pieces. Um, I did this one with the Easter eggs, pink candles, and I did this one for St. Patrick's Day. And then I've got a few more. I've got um, this one I started. I did kindness. Um, I've got gray going on. I want to do be happy or be kind on this. Uh, you could take a tiny little button 
and put it on here with some of that gingham ribbon make a cute little bow and or um, and then put black handles on it I think that would be really cute and that is all I have right now oh I knew I had one more I started one for Christmas Jeez. Um, got one for Christmas going on so I just got to paint those handles and finish those off and that is my tutorial today people so whoops <laughs> there I go again moving things around so um, thank you all for joining me today please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below and I will see you next time have a wonderful day.